So we're here with uh, Merck here at the SID Display Week. And Merck has a long history of doing uh, lots of stuff. So, uh, hello. Hello. Hi, so who are you? So I'm, I'm Michael Wittek. And uh, so, uh, just, just for a second over here. So what's the history of, of Merck? It's been around for three, so 400 years. So the history years? of Merck, we were founded in 1668. And we are celebrating 350 uh, uh, anniversary this year. So we started out as a pharmacy in Darmstadt. And already pharmacy is yeah. pharmaceuticals yeah. and is medicine. And so, and, uh, so this marks like the important... Uh, and po so, so, so right now you, for example, in the industry of the display, yeah. what is a Merck's role? So Merck's role, we are a material supplier, you can see yeah. over here. So you are in the in the OLEDs and yeah, so the LCDs. So, so we are basically powering powering the displays. Yeah. Sorry, it's just about the light. So you you powering the displays. You heard? Yeah. So so we are market and technology leader for liquid crystal materials. So liquid crystals that is what is powering the LCDs. So we are also delivering uh, 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 providing OLED materials for the latest generation OLEDs. And we also do other parts of the display stack, like the phosphors that are even yeah. used in LEDs, photoresists that are being used yeah. in the fabrication, reactive messages that uh, uh, form the uh, compensation films, and other materials like quantum, quantum, quantum materials for the latest generation of displays. So, um, how, how, how is it possible that Merck has all these materials and, and uh, like it's very important for the industry to have access to materials, right? And it's not just, uh, what, what goes into there for, yeah. for Merck? Is yeah. it like um, uh, materials, the, the way to use them? How do you put them in the display? Yeah, so we, uh, we started very early on. So Merck started uh, over a hundred years ago uh, to look at liquid crystals. And uh, we are celebrating this year the 50-year uh, anniversary of LCD. So, and we were early on uh, providing those materials for the displays. And from the very strong position uh, of the liquid crystals, we, over the last uh, 50 years, we formed a very diverse portfolio of materials providing all the solutions for, 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 for the displays, material solutions for the displays. And so does I mean, when there's a display, like the display like here, um, most of the materials are going to come from Merck? Yes, yeah, so, so, so quite a few materials come from Merck and uh, it's, we are focusing more on the functional materials. So the materials that drive the display, like the uh, liquid crystal materials, like the OLED materials, and, uh, yeah. and so for example, the OLED materials are organic. Uh, where do they come from? Well, these are organic. Where does liquid crystal come from? Is it from a mine somewhere? Or? No, no. I mean, liquid crystals uh, is uh, is uh, these are molecules, and we uh, produce those molecules. See here, so mix and match. So we have uh, different categories of uh, liquid crystal materials: extra bright, extra brilliant, and extra boost to to give uh, the best performance for the latest generation of LCD displays. So do you have a, a big machine, a little bit similar to? So this was 2007, right? But do you have a, a do you have fabs? Uh, yeah, lab. So, 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 so the way the way this this works. So, liquid crystal is actually a mixture of individual components, and the components are being produced uh, uh, in Darmstadt, and these materials are going to be shipped to to Asia, very close to to the production size, the panel fabs, and are going to be mixed, and then they're going to be supplied to the panel production sites in Asia. So there, there's some big machines that are taking kind of like yeah, a... It's like big vessels, it's really chemistry. 
chemistry. Chemistry. And the OLED is similar, also chemistry. The, the OLED is similar, but the, the, the OLED uh, uh, there's it's it's uh, uh, these are much smaller amounts and much more delicate components being used. It has to be more precise in the way it you do be, things. It has to be more precise, and the purity uh, has to be much much higher. How about the next that uh, people are talking micro LED? Are you also part of this? Yeah, we also for micro LED, for example, we we provide phosphors, so that is a, a part for for micro LEDs. Uh, the next generation also includes quantum materials, so the the QLED, for example, quantum materials. We also have quantum materials in our in our portfolio. So when, for example. Uh your position in the in the industry, I guess, is tons and tons and tons of material being shipped around, right? It's huge amounts of materials. Well, it's it's uh, it depends on the technology for for LC liquid crystal. It is uh, a couple hundred tons per year for the OLED. Uh, since OLED, the the layers, the functional layers in the OLED display. It's much thinner, so it's not these 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 big amounts like for LC. And so all this material, you ship it to Asia, and yeah. then they make they put it in the display, and then they ship it back to your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way it works, the, we ship the material to Asia. It's mixed. It's put into the panels, and the panels are distributed worldwide. And you have uh, R and D and research in the whole display process, R the whole, everything because. You have to be doing your stuff right, right, with your materials. Yeah, yeah. We have we have R and D. We have our our core R and D is in the headquarters in Darmstadt, so where we look at uh, new new chemicals, new formulations for the next generation of liquid crystal and uh, OLED displays. So this is what is done. But we also have uh, a very local R and D, very close to the customer to to really. Um, really optimize then and uh, fine tune all the formulations for the customer. The quality of the end product with your materials. Yeah. To make sure everything is everything the best. is best. All right, and improving every year. Yeah, improving every year. All right. Cool. So looking forward to better displays in the future. I mean, thanks to yeah. thanks to Merck.